okay? It's not a bank, it's not a law firm, it's not a barber shop, it's a person, okay? Now, for years it was Al Brown Service Station over there on Providence Road where Starbucks is now close into town. But then, over the years, it kind of evolved into just Al Brown. So we play for an actual person. Now, Al, unfortunately, passed away before you guys were born, but from, from all accounts, he was a great person, very generous to the in Charlotte, did a lot for the community. I've never heard a negative word about Al. So it's special that we have somebody's name on our jersey. Okay, I posted a picture of him on Facebook a few weeks ago. If you hadn't seen that, go look at it. I want you to know who Al was, okay? Um, and these jerseys that we're going to hand out in a couple of minutes, Al Brown, okay? Playing and representing someone, okay? Now remember, for me, that means we have to hold our team to a higher standard when it comes to sportsmanship. We have to represent out, okay? So that means playing hard, playing fair, being gentlemen out on the field and off the field. We're not going to do anything that's going to shed a negative light on our team or on out, okay? Now, the special guest, come on up, JG. This is JG Bailey. She is Al Brown's granddaughter. No, no, you go. I'm not. And I have invited uh, JG here. I've invited JG here uh, to tell you just, you know, a little bit about about Al and kind of what it all means. Go ahead. Fire away. Sometimes we secretly watch you guys, my mom and I sometimes will come to games and watch by the side and just you, the energy and the effort you put towards it is, is honorable. So thank you and thanks for calling me to come and speak to him to, about him today. Um, I have two girls, 13 and 15, and I told him I was headed here today and I said, what should I say? And he said, oh my gosh, one of those million funny stories you tell about him. And um, he had some really good stories. but. I was reading over an article that somebody wrote about him after he passed away, and I wanted to read you just the first part of it, okay? So his middle name was Alfred, and the first part of it says, perhaps his middle name should have been Believe instead of Alfred. He believed in living each day as though it was the best of his life. He believed in supporting young athletes, and he believed in friendship. He believed in giving to others, and he especially believed in keeping quiet about it. And so um, that was that was one of the, the things that he, he had so much belief in other people and in you guys and in the world. And that just is, it, he's just motivated me in a way um, that I, I have a part of him every day in my life. And um, one of the stories about him that just is, rings true to his belief is that he would always say, if your job is too big, just look at it in small parts and break it down into small parts. And so he had this dream to build a lake. And um, my mom still lives at this piece of property. And so he told everybody, all his friends, he said, well, just come over and bring your chainsaw. We're going to build a five acre lake. And they were like, okay. <laughs> and he said, um, yeah, that's what we're going to start. We're going to start small and it'll be a lake one day. And you guys can come and fish and do whatever. Well, the lake is still there today. It took many years, took about two years to build it. We brought in tractors and backhoes and all sorts of machinery to build it. But it's a full acre lake and it has fish in it. We still fish on it. The horses still drink out of it. That was one of his, his um, loves was nature. And so um, if you guys ever want to come out there, I know you would love to show it to you in his way of having it there. So, uh, anyway, thanks again. I wish you the best season. Um, again, he, he's just a great role model for me, and I hope you all can find that sportsmanship and the kindness to give back to other people in your lives as much as your teammates and coaches and your fans. JG, turn around for one second. I want them to see the back of your t-shirt. Oh, that's one of the one I have. This is the 50th. If you, see, if you can read this, uh, 
That was, well, our first championship, second, third, and fourth. Al Brown League champs 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. This team has a winning tradition, but it's not about that, guys. What it's about is that you're playing for something that's bigger than yourself, okay? You're not just playing for yourself. You're not just playing for your teammates. You're playing for something that's bigger than that. We're playing for Al. We're playing for the legacy, the tradition, all those things that we, that we talked to you about, okay? I think it's really cool that you can play Little League Baseball and you're not just jumping around from team to team each year. You're Al Brown and you're always gonna be Al Brown, just like I was, okay? I mean, that's why I'm here right now. Yep, and Nick, just like Nick, you know? Absolutely, so. Once you play for him, you're part of it forever. You're part of it forever, whether you like it or not. But um, you're gonna like it. I have a hat for you. I need a new one. <laughs> a couple of stickers. Oh, thanks. However many. I see, I see these on the back of cars, and I kind of want a home. <laughs> I got a. Uh, so now, oh my gosh, look at all. You have people to give pins guys. to. I do, and my mom was sorry she couldn't be here, but uh, we we think about you guys playing and just how how special it is that this team has been around for so many years and all the support that the community has given. Um, it just, it's, it's really important. It strikes a, a deep emotion with me. So thanks a lot for the time that you all put into it. Thank you for coming.